All right, shalom, shalom to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel out there. First and foremost, Kal Halayim La Yahweh Ba Hashem Hamashiach Wa Malak Yahweh Shai Tawari Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai Baharacha Kodash. Double honor has just been sent out to the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone GMS. All right, who rule and teach Yasha Allah well through the Spirit, laboring in this word and doctrine, leading the flock by example, and are the true teachers for our nation on earth today. Enough respect, blessings, peace, citations to the Akim pushing this 100% gospel the world over, risking their life for Yahweh, Baal Yahweh Shai sake, in sincerity and in truth. I don't want Ratazar, which means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, <coughs> this lesson is edifying. And you know, man, you know, this should vex his spirit, okay? And you can see that, hey man, prophecy is just, it's just, it's clearly speaking, alright? And there's nothing new under the sun. Alright, and wickedness is exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Alright. You know, this is why we need Yahweh Baal Yahweh Shai to return soon. Okay. As quickly as possible. Alright. Or else no flesh will be saved. Alright, Esau Edom had his way. Now this is from endtimeheadlines.org. Okay. And the headline reads, Days of Lot, 7.2% of Babylonians adults now identify as rainbow people skittles if you will got to speak like that and code words okay or else it'll trigger the algorithm okay so dated March the 1st 2023 the hopeful year that all prophecies come to pass okay so if we go into the headline it reads the percentage of adults in Babylon the Great aka the United States of America, who identify as the funny man business increased slightly year over year to 7.2% last year, according to a Gallup poll released Wednesday. You know, and this is straight of wickedness and abomination, man, in the sight of your Yahweh Shai. Yah but, you know, this is Esau Edom's perverse nature. Okay, so, it's no shock, just like how it was in Sodom and Gomorrah in the days of Lot. The same thing is happening now, reincarnation, man. Alright, them same spirits committed those wickedness back then. It's doing the same things now. Okay. While that's just a slight increase from 7.1% in 2021, it's more than double what it was what it was a decade ago when Gallup found just 3.5% of the US population identified as something other than heterosexual in 2012. Gallup asked more than 10,000 adults nationwide how they identify in telephone interviews last year. According to NBC News, the, for the first time, the organization recorded the identities of Skittles people who said they are something other than fill in the blank, fill in the blank, fill in the blank, and fill in the blank. It found that about 5% of Skittle adults identified outside those terms. Most of them, about 0.1% of all US adults, said they are fill in the blank, fill in the blank, or fill in the blank. Fill in the blank is an umbrella term that generally refers to people who aren't heterosexual or... That's a new word. Look that up. Cisgender. Denoting or relating... Cisgender. Denoting or relating to a person whose gender identity corresponds with the sex registered for them at birth not you know what transformer you know this is just all confusion all these you know the lord made man and woman okay but in babylon the great all right you can identify as a pencil as a cat giraffe shark what have you all right this place is backwards all right and it's vexing so is an umbrella term that generally refers to people who aren't you know what or you know what meaning they don't identify uh with their assigned sexes at birth you know what means someone experiences sexual or romantic attraction regardless of gender or gender identity that word does they uh, describe someone who doesn't experience sexual attraction to others this is just madness and folly honestly all right that's why, you know, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans 
as well as you Israelite foreigners scattered around the world who may look like these other nations but whose seed line goes back to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob through the fathers. You are the, tri the, are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, the children of Israel, but you must repent and seek the Lord now. Okay. Alright. Because, you know, judgment's coming from Yahweh Shemashai. Okay, he's angry with the wicked every day. You know, there's only so much that the Heavenly Father, all right, can tolerate. Get a precept. Okay. Because, you know, there weren't just, there were, what, five cities in Sodom and Gomorrah? All right, if I remember correctly. All right. In America, you know, ends of that place has reached the heavens. All right. And through its philosophy and its wine, which represents its, you know, you know, the philosophy, its wicked <clears throat> ways and how it's spread across, you know, the world. All right. They're going to have to be judged for that. All right. And it's contaminated the world with their false doctrines and wayward lifestyles so this is a book of isaiah chapter 5 verse 20 woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter right because this is evil okay this isn't good this isn't progressive all right damn straight backwards all right and you know this devil likes to have word witchcraft and he likes to Alright, target <clears throat> people who speak out against this, okay? He likes to, you know, say that, oh, there's nothing wrong with, you know, the way you are and stuff like that, okay? That's how, that's how God made you, you know? There's nothing really wrong with it. If you feel that's right, then that's right. And that's just lies and wickedness, okay? It shows that he doesn't follow none of the law, statutes and commandments of the Bible, Okay, because he's a profane, backwards, crooked devil. So woe to them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Okay, you know, if you speak out against this, they either say that you're homophobic, okay, like you look down upon, okay, you can lose your job, your reputation, things of that nature. Okay. That's pure wickedness. Let's get Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 18. Because, you know, this goes back to being proud. Okay. And it reads Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall. Alright. And before Babylon the Great is going to fall, man, all sorts of <laughs> abominable acts. Are taking place and it's just going to magnify and increase in intensity and frequency all right look how Saddam and Gomorrah went out okay ICBM missiles and the chariots of Yahweh Baal Yahweh Shai of Yasha Allah is going to de destroy Babylon the Great okay NATO and the EU all right the beast is going to also turn on Babylon the Great okay let's get another uh, precept in the book of Luke Right. Chapter 17, we can start at verse 26. Right. And this is your house shall speaking since it's written in red. Okay. And it reads, as in as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Right? Because the first death, okay, was by the flood. Alright, and people just continued to live as you see now, normally, going shopping, work going to restaurants, cinemas, etc., things of that nature. They were going about the business, not taking heed. All right? To Yahweh Shem El Shai. Noah is prophet. Okay. And the elect back then, you know, was Noah. Okay. All right. So now, you know, we're, we're building that spiritual arc. Okay? Because the second <laughs> death is going to be by fire. Right, that's why the Lord set the rainbow, that he would never flood the earth again by water. Okay. So there's nothing new under the sun. Let's go verse 28. Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they builded. Right. But the 
same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Alright, so Lot, not Lot, sorry, represent the elect. Alright, no, the only the elect of the nation of Israel, okay, are going to be, you know, safe from this coming destruction. Now, some of the elect are going to get beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, okay. Alright. Right, but they'll be the first ones raised in Hamashiach. Okay. Is there any more on that article? I'll get that. <coughs> so it says, You know what? Continue to make up the majority of, uh, you know what, adults at 58.2%. Gallup found while 20.2% identify as Batiman. 13.4% identify as les and 8.8% identify as a transformer. Those who said they are straight or heterosexual made up 86% of respondents, while 7% chose not to answer the question. <laughs> Continuing previous trends, Generation Z or those ages 19 to 26 are the most likely to identify as alphabet at 19.7% compared to 11.2% of millennials. All right. Now these are you saw statistics. Okay, I'd have to keep on, you know, reading all this one. Gallup found that younger generations are much more likely to identify as, you know what, than older generations, right? Because there was at least some level of morality, okay, in the older generations than these younger ones. Remember, this is a wicked and adulterous generation, man. These GMO babies, right? So they're going to be, what's to expose to all this wickedness, man? They're going to amplify that, especially our people. All right, we'll sort his children, the majority of them. Okay. You know, they'll, they'll take something wicked that Esau does, learn, learn it from him, and make it even worse, and get creative with it, and make it even more wicked than how Esau even <laughs> set it out to be. All right. No, that's, that's it on that, really. Okay. You know, this this behavior, this backward behavior, man, it leads to diseases, all right? And, you know, it can even stem from trauma, all right? Suicide and depression. Okay. How is this even being fruitful and multiplying, like the scripture commands us? All right, that's why, you know, we need a righteous rulership. And you've even got this, you know, Batman business, all right, foster parents, all right, who foster children and even adopt them. And a lot of them are Israelite children, all right, that's perverse and confusion. You know, and they even, you know, there's even articles coming out about them teaching this, you know, pornographic, <clears throat> you know, business in schools, all right, corrupting the youth, the children, man. Alright, and there's many scriptures that can be brought out, alright, and you can know the, you know, the, uh, the moral decay of a society, alright, when sexualization is, is hyped up and, you know, and gone to an all time low, alright, you know, a lot of these transformers even regret changing, changing forms, alright, I'll get one more uh, verse and then close out, Lord willing. Alright. You know, and another reason I push this is for depopulation. De -popular, de uh, population. Okay. Alright, because, you know, it's easy to control less people. Right? These elites, Amalek, international elite, nobility of Eden banking families. They, <clears throat> right, they want their world order, new world order. Okay, getting up in age. Alright. And they want, is it the Georgia guy still? And they want the population of the world to go around, go down to a, you know, at least 500 million, at most 500 million. Okay. So they really want that setting off. Uh, so last precept and I'm gonna close out it's the book of Jude 
verse 7 even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example suffering the vengeance of eternal life okay so this is an example Sodom and Gomorrah is an example of how not to live okay alright go, going after an abominable axe alright that's why the Lord rain fire and brimstone down on it just like it will do Babylon the Great because they're following after the example of Sodom and Gomorrah so with that I don't want rattles out this lesson was edifying to the elect in closing I'd like to give all praise glory and honor to Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai Baal Shem Rukakwidash again double honor to the apostles the great lowstone and with that Kwame Asherala Wa Ababa Ball we got next Lord willing Shalom may that be to the elect Shalom <laughs>